report. Let's go to Sokoto. Uh, our correspondent is ready there uh, to give us an update of what happened at the seat of the Caliphate. Oh, you are in the office. Go ahead. Hello. G good morning. You are welcome to Sokoto, the seat of the Caliphate. Uh, of course, uh, you in Sokoto yesterday participated actively in the nationwide protest. The protests which started peacefully but later turned out to be violent because some public structures were destroyed and that informed the decision of police to intervene. Uh, right uh, together with me here is the, the Commissioner of Police, uh, Ali Hayatu Kaigama. And I will ask him to brief us of the happenings yesterday, the arrest if there is any, and what they intend to do to contain what is likely to happen today since today is the second day of the nationwide protest. Sir. Uh, you are welcome to Sokoto. Let me use this opportunity uh, to please uh, inform you officially that you are presently with the Commissioner of Police, Sokoto State Police Command, CP Ali Hayatu Kaigama. Yesterday, can you tell us what happened in brief and have you made any arrest? Uh, actually, what happened in brief yesterday was that uh, before yesterday, before the fateful day of yesterday, we have been having this since the idea of this protest was muted. Myself, the Commissioner of Police, has, and my dear colleagues from other security agencies in Sokoto states have not rested on our oars. Uh, since that idea has been muted, we have been strategizing along with the state government. The state government went to the extent of inviting town hall meeting involving all critical stakeholders and all assured His Excellency the, government, the Governor of Sokoto State that there won't be anything like protest because whatever they were trying to protest against they were informed that the government of the, the federal government have started working on some of these uh, demands they have been making. And it was made known. And they were told that actually the issue of protest is immaterial for now. Their mission was to pass a message and the message was well passed. And the government did not ignore them. The government promised them wholeheartedly that they are working assiduously to ensure that their needs and demands will be met. Unfortunately, that of yesterday, Sokoto being a unique state, the seat of the caliphate, we are full of almajiris around. The number of people that started coming in, pathetically, there were these youths that we describe in the police or other security agencies as young persons, they were virtually teenagers. When we saw them marching the street, we felt, well, every other Nigerian is free to exercise his right. And therefore, we provided, along with my uh, other colleagues from other security agencies, we provided them with security to give them maximum cover, which we did. Along the line, all along, because as they progresses, a lot of the youths that were mischief makers started infiltrating these uh, teenagers. Along the line, the whole thing broke loose. And behold, they went back and they started destroying. They started destroying government infrastructure, public properties. And once that is done, your guess is as good as mine the police and other security agencies will not fold their arms and watch that to continue. We must not allow them to bring our state to its knees. We quickly intervene and behold, a lot of arrests were made. As I'm talking to you, they are already, they are already charged to court and the issue, the, 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 the court is presiding over their issue for mischief and vandalization of government property. And we are still on top of our games to ensure that if only 
other security, I mean, other protesters are willing to come out. We gave them an enabling environment to exercise their right, which they fail woefully. Once they fail, the security agencies, like I said before, we cannot watch and sit down and watch. How many people have you so far, how many people have you so far arrested? We arrested uh, 83 miscreants, miscreants who were arrested live while vandalizing government infrastructure in, with, during the protest. In some states, Skype has been imposed. Are you thinking about that here? I'm not thinking about that. I trust my other colleagues from other security agencies. Since the issue of this protest was muted, all our hands have been on deck, and it has never been lifted for a minute. That gave us the result we have achieved yesterday. If will, you can hear me, after the result of yesterday, the after the protest of yesterday, we equally sat down late in the yes. night to appraise our action of yesterday and to strategize against today, which we have definitely done, and we def we believe that. Uh, today's protest will just be a walkover for the security agencies. Thank if, you. If you can hear me, ask the CP uh, in terms of engagement, because we just read a uh, statement by the Sultan in terms of consultation, and it was appealing to them and also appealing to you know, religious leaders to engage these people, apart from ensuring safety and uh, of uh, government property and safety of lives in your center. Uh, is there other, are there other engagements right now going on, in spite, you know, uh, putting into consideration what transpired yesterday? As the CP. Of this, uh, nationwide protest. Yeah, I mean, uh, stakeholders were engaged even before this time, so that uh, uh, the tension would be would be minimal. Maybe what other engagement do you intend to do to ensure that? Okay, is there any engagement going on now? Actually, the engagement going on now, uh, after appraising our action of yesterday, last night. We were able to get across some, from some imams and pastors to use their forum to still warn that any protestant that is willing to come out and cause mischief to any government infrastructure will not be allowed to do that. Yes, I assure, I assure the good people of Sokoto State, most of the people, the youths that came out, they, like I said before, they were teenagers who doesn't even know. If you ask them why were they protesting, some cannot even explain. Some cannot even explain. I had cause to ask some of these youths that what were, you, what were you really protesting? And I had cause to tell them, if you don't know, you said hardship. The government has come up with different interventions to cushion the hardship. If I told there is hardship, to cushion the hardship. They have started, they have distributed grains, they have distributed, they have distributed a lot of palliative, at least to cushion this. And this short term, and we believe the long term is in the pipeline. And there was no need for any protest whatsoever. Thank you very much, uh, the CP uh, Ali Hayatu Kegema, CP Sokoto State. Uh, now we will now rejoin uh, Abuja for continuation of the program. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for a moment. I thought that was your office. So thank you very much for going to talk directly to the CP, uh, the CP Kaigama, uh, talking about uh, the situation in Sokoto and that uh, his men are on top of the situation. Several arrests made already in terms of the uh, vandalization of uh, infrastructure in that state. And that is in spite of the plea uh, by the Sultan uh, to shelve uh, the protest.